Hello everyone, welcome back to Bot Sailor. Today we have got super exciting tutorial for you. We are going to dive into the world of WhatsApp automation and show you how to set up no match reply on Bot Sailor. Well, you might be wondering, what is no match reply, right? In the world of chatbots, it's the response your bot gives when it doesn't understand or recognize the user's input. This feature ensures that your bot doesn't leave any users hanging and instead guides them back into the conversation. Well, now let's hop into the main part. But before we jump into the details, if you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you never miss an update on our latest tech tutorials. Let's jump into the bot seller dashboard and see how easy it is to create a no match reply. Then go to bot manager and scroll down to action buttons. In action button, there's a lot of options over here we will select no match and the vision flow will pop up. As you can see, the components are really unorganized. You can organize them by clicking rearrange button and your bot is reorganized now. So double click on text component and by default, you will see a text reply that says, we're sorry, but we do not understand your question. Would you please repeat that? This is the text reply that you can re-edit and modify as you like. Personalize your no match reply message, but remember, you can only use one fixed response. If customers ask something new, the bot will send the same reply every time. Given that the customers are unlikely to repeat the same query each time, the bot's same response to every query may result in customer dissatisfaction, which is big no-no for your business. But no need to worry because we have integrated AI like ChatGPT to Bot Sailor. Benefits of integrating AI is that you can train your AI and set it to no match reply and your customers will get response according to their query thanks to AI integration. First, delete the text component by clicking right mouse key. Then start dragging from compose next message socket and a component list will appear. In this component list, select AI reply an AI reply component will appear, which will automatically be connected with the start bot flow. You can also do this in two other ways also. Let me show you how, but let's delete the AI reply component first. Okay. Now, click on visual flow builder canvas and the new component list will appear. In this component list, select on open AI and AI reply component will appear again and you can connect it with start bot flow. There you go. Or you can also drag AI reply from top left corner of your screen and connect it to the start workflow. Yeah. Now, let's finish setting up the bot. Double click on AI reply and enter your business information in the input field called please write a message to learn AI. In my case, I want to resell chat Pion. ChatPound is another AI chatbot and marketing tool platform for Facebook and Instagram. You can check out the ChatPound website, link will be in the description, please do follow. Now, we just have to copy and paste our business information in the input field. I have already written my business information in the notepad. I'll just copy it and paste it in the input field and save it. And save the bot flow. And our bot is good to go. Now go back to bot manager section and scroll down to configuration. In general part of configuration page, you will see no match reply toggle button. It is very important because if you don't enable toggle button, your bot won't send message to your customers. So enable the toggle button and you will see a new option called no match response frequency limit here. In this option, there's also two toggle buttons, every time and once a day. Well, every time means your bot will send no match reply as a response every time it can't understand your pre-designed reply. And once a day means your bot will send no match reply as a response only once a day when it doesn't understand your pre-designed reply. A quick tip, if you integrate AI in your no match reply, you should toggle the every time option in configuration so that your customers get response every time which will increase your relation with customers. 
Okay, we should test the bot reply now and see if no match reply actually work or not. So open your WhatsApp on your phone and send a message to your bot account. Okay, I will just write hi. Hi is a trigger keyword that will uh, trigger the bot. Ah, it replied. I'm gonna say I'm good. And tell me more about ChatPion. ChatPion is everything I we said in the no match reply. Ah, it's it sent the details. That's great. What is chat pion pricing? Okay, let's see. Um Ah it replied again. It says all the chat pion regular license and extend license price. Okay, I'm just gonna write okay, thank you. Ah great. So as you can see the AI has generated a reply based on the training data that we set it on the no match reply message. The bot is working perfectly. You can keep asking more questions and it will keep up with you as you go on. That's awesome, right? And that's a wrap, guys. Setting up a no match reply on bot seller is super easy and it can save you a lot of time while keeping your communication on point. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments if you would like to see more of our WhatsApp automation tips. Thanks for tuning in today. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, see ya. Bot Sailor